Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today I have a haul video to share with you guys. I know, I wasn't supposed to be doing hauls anymore, but whatever. I bought stuff. Some of it's things we needed for around the house or food or whatever. But um, let's go ahead and get started. So the first items I want to talk to you guys about are from Penguin, and these items were actually sent to me. This is not a sponsored video, but these were sent to me for consideration and review, just to let you guys know. So just a few things about Penguin. They were founded in 2019. They're relatively new to the CBD industry. It's hemp CD, CBD that is grown um, in or Oregon, organically, which love organically grown things and uh, they use eco-conscious sustainable farming practices also love that all the products are third party tested there is zero percent thc so no you will not get high from any of this so that is just sort of the preface there so the first product i want to share with you guys is their cbd cream come on focus as you can see, the packaging is super cute. I love their logo. They went with the penguin as a logo since penguins are really chill, actually. This is embarrassing. I saved the tissue paper. I have that on my desk still because I just thought it was so cute. So the CBD cream is peppermint lavender scented. It comes in this little jar. You guys know I prefer skincare products to be in a squeeze tube or something that is airtight but when it comes to a body product since you're probably going to use it up fairly quickly a jar is fine it smells amazing and we have to talk about this texture i hope the camera will pick up on it look at that this stuff is so whipped and creamy it is so pleasurable to touch like amazing so i've used this specifically on my back between my shoulder blades i tend to get a little bit of irritation there i would not qualify it as pain i would just qualify it as irritation i used to go to the chiropractor before the world went kaput <laughs> so now i have not been to the chiropractor since march so i usually get a little adjustment and now i just have a little irritation so I have been using this between my shoulder blades and I do think it tends to calm the body, which is nice. And it smells amazing. And I think this is a glass bottle. Like this is substantial packaging. I'm pretty sure you could recycle this really easily or even um, keep the container and use it for something. It's a really nice substantial container. I like the color too. The next product they sent me was the broad spectrum cbd this is a cbd oil and i requested the citrus flavor i will say they do have two other cbd products i think it was capsules and gummies those were not vegan those contained gelatin so that's why i'm only showing these two so once again really cute little logo right now this is like my favorite color this like boxed mac and cheese yellow that's what i like to call it i love this color so much and so here is the product itself it comes with a dropper and you have to push down to open it so it's not an easy open so it is i guess childproof is what you'd call it i don't know and it has a one milliliter dropper you're supposed to take that dropper place it under your tongue and hold it there i think for 60 seconds is that what the instruction said 60 to 90 seconds and then swallow it so i don't generally find myself needing to be calmed or chilled out i think i'm generally very calm and chill out to begin with so i haven't encountered a situation in which this may aid to keep me calm but I did try it out to take a gauge of the taste and I was pleasantly surprised. Even though it's citrus, you do not get like a weird sour like kind of thing. You hardly taste it. It's more like an essence, kind of like how, um, like how, uh, what am I thinking of the word? Like tonic waters? Not tonic waters, bubbly water, soda water, how you can buy them with like an essence type flavor and it doesn't really taste like it but the 
a breath of that flavor is there. That's kind of how this is flavored and I actually really appreciated it and enjoyed it and thought it was delightful. So that is this product, which is really cool. I will have links to these things down below below i think they might be giving me a coupon code or a referral link or something if if they do just that'll be marketed down below if not then it's just a regular link but either way really cool stuff and i am already quite a fan of this one so check that out if you guys are interested the next couple things that i have to share with you guys i don't actually have here so i'll insert pictures or video clips. So I got a new dress from J. Crew. It's super cute. It's like a blue and it has these, I don't know if they're leopards or jaguars or what on them, but it's really cute. I shared it on my Instagram. So I'll insert that Instagram picture right here. And as you can see, it's just super adorable. I also got a new leggings set, which I know I wasn't supposed to be buying more leggings, but I did. Oh well, the color was too cute to pass up. So I got a legging set from Girlfriend and it's in the color Marigold, which I think most of that stuff is already sold out, which is annoying because I went back, I really liked it and I went back, was going to order in like a lavendery color that was in the same release and like pretty much everything was sold out. But I, it is the Paloma bra and then the high rise leggings. I think it's the 23 and point something inches inseam because your girl is short. And that is why I wanted to order more from them because other legging companies don't offer that inseam adjustment. I am five feet tall. <laughs> like the 23 inseam <laughs> almost goes all the way down to my ankle. I am very short. So I loved that they actually fit and I didn't have a bunch of bunching at my ankle. And then the third thing to share with you guys is an exercise bike. I took a video clip of that, so I'll put that here. The next item in my haul is this stationary bike here. And I have been using this every morning to wake up. I think it was about $140 on Amazon. I will link to it down below. So as you can see, it is very, very basic super basic i put a little folding table right in front of it to hold my water and put my ipad so i could watch youtube videos while i work and i want to get in here and show you the screen here it is super basic i'll probably still have my numbers from this morning so it gives you your time your speed the distance you've gone uh, i don't know what that one is but then there's calories and oh the Odo. I don't know what that is. I don't know why it does them backwards, but and then you can track your pulse on these right here. So it is super, super basic. You hold in the button to clear the screen for your next ride. The most basic model you could probably find. You could mess with the tension here. And that's exactly what I was personally looking for, is super, super basic. So if that's what you're looking for too, I will have the link down below. So I have really been enjoying that bike. And as I said, I will link that down below. So let's get one to everything else. It's a lot. We'll start with like food related things or kitchen related things. I've got quite a few of those. And the first is these dang coconut chips. They are chocolate sea salt flavored. Austin and I are both obsessed with these. We got a pack, a full size pack of these in our vegan cut snack box and we finished them very quickly and ordered a four pack of just this one flavor. Obsessed. They're so good. I have been putting them with a little um, dessert that I've been making. So I open up a date and I add a little almond butter and I'll put some of this on top or chocolate on top. It's so good. So good. And speaking of dates, hold on, I've got things piled up on top of this. Drinking my water. Well, I drank it all. Now I'm thirsty. I ordered another big giant box of Julie's because I ate all of them because they are so good. It still has the plastic in it, but it's just literally a gajillion dates that still have the pits in them. So I just wanted to come back on here because last time I shared Julie's, it was the first time I had bought from them, but I am a convert. I will be ordering my dates from Julie's for now on. I love them. I'm obsessed. So good. Really, really good. And I highly suggest it. 
The next thing that's kitchen related is this, and it looks kind of crazy. It's huge. This is a gallon size bag. I will link to these on Amazon. I don't know the exact brand name, but we ordered stasher bags to kind of replace any disposable bags that we'd been using, but Stasher doesn't make one that's this big. And I was using a gallon size plastic bag to hold all of my veggie scraps so that when it was full, I would throw it in a pot of water, simmer it for a few hours, and make my own vegetable stock. Well, I now have a reusable one. And so this one is one of the ones where it like slides on and off. They're a little annoying to work with. <laughs> Especially when you pull it out of the freezer, try and slide it off while it's freezing cold. Not the funnest, but I would love if Stasher made a bag that size, but they don't. So I will share this down below in the links because I think it is the best one I could find on Amazon. If you have any suggestions for a better reusable bag that, that is that big, like that thing's massive, let me know. I'd love to check it out. Also food related, kitchen related. I bought these two items. They're from Karn and Dosit Cuisine, I guess is how you say it. It is their cutting board oil and their cutting board wax, which are 100% natural. Both are vegan friendly. I think they're coconut oil based, something like that. They're mineral oil free, which is nice. Um, and the wax is rice wax based. So we have a really beautiful cutting board that a friend gave us when we first moved into this house and I've refused to use it because it was so beautiful. But now I'm like, okay, it's cutting board. It needs to have practical use. So I wanted to protect it the best I could. So I ordered both of these. I will link them down below. They're both from Amazon, but it is this small business, this Caron and Deuce It. I don't know if you can see that name. Come on, there we go. So uh, we've really enjoyed these. They smell nice. I think there's a little bit of essential oil in them that just gives it a slight fragrance, but um, nothing offensive and it won't get on your food. So yeah, really enjoyed these and they're super easy to use. The next few items are, well, I have four masks, pink and a chevron, like an orange chevron. And I just got these ones. It is a taupe and like a minty color. All four of these are from New Origin Shop, which you'll remember my straw basket that I've been using for the farmer's market is from that same shop that a friend from middle school runs. And I have to say, I love these. And the nice thing is most of these colors are very neutral. Not that, I mean, Austin will wear pink. He has worn the pink one, but there's definitely options. And she has some really pretty floral ones too. They were sold out when I purchased my two more. because I bought these two at first, but I'm keeping an eye out on those. I might have to get those because I don't think quarantine is going anywhere anytime soon. So, mo mas, mo better. But yeah, these are really nice, simple cloth masks. Will be easy to wash. And we have been using those and enjoying them. Well, I don't think anyone really enjoys their mask, but it's not that bad. And then this special one, my friend Donald from college wrote a book. So this is his book, Convenient Amnesia. And I cannot recommend this enough. He's a beautiful poet. And I think it's incredibly timely with the climate of our country right now. So check that out. I'll link that down below. And then I've already shared a full video on this fitness journal. This is the Commit 30 fitness journal, the undated one. And so I'll do one of those little card things if I remember and link straight to the video. If not, uh, it's on my channel. It's only like two or three videos back. So you can see a full tour of this journal. If a fitness journal is something you've been looking for, check it out. And I'll link to that as well. I'll link to everything actually. I have two more items to share with you guys. They're both clothing items. So I got this skirt from Jaker Factory and it is just a really beautiful like golden ochre kind of color um faux silky kind of skirt and it fits really beautifully it is gorgeous and then the other clothing item I want to share with you guys is this beautiful rainbow dress from Petusa I think that's how you pronounce it and it is just gorgeous 
Look at that. I forget what the price was, but it was a little expensive. That said, it is sheer too. So you'll definitely need a bra or a slip underneath. If you are curvier, you'll probably also need to have your bottom covered. If you're not curvy, you probably won't be able to see through it with just nude underwear. So just note that, but it is beautiful. I love it. It's so airy and it'd be perfect for the beach as a cover up or just a loungy summer day. Like it, the, I'm obsessed with this. Also, they emailed me a 15, I think it's 15% off coupon because I took some survey or something or I don't remember why they did, but I'm probably not going to use it. So the first person that asks for it can have it. Just shoot me a comment below and I'll let you have it. <laughs> anyway, this is gorgeous. I love it. And you'll see some of the sections are actually kind of a little animal print. Adorable. So that's everything I have to share with you in today's haul video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you to Penguin for sending me these products to try. They are really nice. And otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit that subscribe button. Check out amandaphenomenon.com for uh, my weekly blog posts. And otherwise, I'll talk to you all later. Bye!